So I think when I started this, I started with a dragon in a cave. I didn't have my camera on when I was doing it. But you'll see the image at the end of the video. But yeah, no, and then it just intrigued me because I haven't drawn dragons in forever. So I was like, just started sketching in. And I mean, as you can see, I just one to the next to the next and just living in my own little world as I was doing it. I forgot how much fun it was to draw dragons. And then one idea just jumps into the next idea and the next idea and before you know it I'm like five or six drawings down just going oh that's, this is kind of fun. Um, well at least I thought I'd share it with you guys because it's that whole never stop drawing part. I'll enjoy.
So at this point, I ended up drawing quite a few dragons. <laughs> Did the bunch around the castle. Just That castle just got destroyed. Yeah, little baby dragons. and I like the one that's just standing there like a boss. Garden is treasure. <laughs> this is the cave drawing that I didn't have footage for. Because I drew it first and I was like, man, I should have had the camera on for that. But... Still gotta fix it, but it looks good. It kinda shows everything. Yeah, so this is, I generally don't have a sketchbook. I just grab whatever I have and start creating. Not sure about the one in the sky. Yeah, this one looks really nice. I just like how he's just the boss of his whole little treasure trove there. I like the circling dragons on this one. I think actually one of my friends sat there and said just do a castle with something cool. Well, that's what I came up with. And this one just uh, coming out of the, the cave, just the massive size. That guy's got to be like freaked out at this point. And I really liked the defeated knight. That just ended up being a really... I should go back and pen and ink that one in. Huh. 